This is Tierra Tava. It's a major insect pest of oil palm in Malaysia. And this one is the larva of Tierra Tava. He's eating the fruit. Could you show me who tries the fresh one? This one is the fresh one. Uh huh. And what happened after you eat it? This is what happened. Um, but Iman, do you think you can sell it like that? Huh, definitely no, Joseph. Mas, do you think you can like solve this problem? <laughs> a piece of cake. No. Oh! Stop. You must be kidding me. Dude, you know you will kill us before you kill the Tirata. And even it's also harmful to the environment. Alright, yeah, why don't we go and ask the farmer what they're doing right now? Hey. Wait, 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 wait. Let us introduce ourselves before we go. I'm Joseph. I'm Iman. And I'm Nas. We're group 1, the Farewell in Trapper. And, and we're, we're from Togo Putra School, Kuching, Apakah masalah yang sering dihadapi oleh petani? Masalahnya ialah ulat kilataba yang paling penting. Kilataba hanya merosakkan dia punya biji-bijian dan buahnya tidak cantik, hasilnya rendah. Kalau begitu, macam mana ke Encik mengatasi masalah, masalah tersebut? Kami hanya kasih spray lacun saja. Alright, so let's break down our solution, the pheromone e-trapper. The outside is a recyclable mineral bottle. Inside here, there's this string, which is the pheromone. And there's LED. And this one, the red thing, is a one-way design trap. So what makes you guys think that the moth will be that stupid will just fly into our trapper? Well, this string is encoded with pheromone. A pheromone is a chemical substance that is produced by the female to attract the male moths. And also, the LED light is to be used as phototensis to attract a moth during night time. When inside there, they get tired, they will go down and drown in the water. So Joseph, do you think our solution will work? Why don't we go to the farm and try out then? Oh yeah, oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The LED will automatically turn off during daytime, and it will automatically turn on during nighttime. This can be done by using Arduino light and UV sensor. In this video, we use torch light to mimic sunlight. About an hour later, this is what we got. And we leave the trapper here, wait for a night to see what else we get the next morning. As you can see, we've caught many different species of moths in a matter of one night. Uh, we all believe that uh, doing a research project isn't always successful. Along the way, we face lots of problems. But this project, we're helping out farmers, so we overcome those problems and at the end, here's where we came.